Hey guys, um, I'm back today to show a quick update of my Smash Bros. thumbnail creator, generator, however you want to call it. Um, so the first thing I wanted to show was the fact that when you download it now, it'll be in two different zip folders. One is the thumbnail generator and one is the um, image pack one. Uh, you can just extract both of these to the same folder. So if I just right click them and then say extract here, uh, we'll get a bunch of pictures, uh, the portraits folder and the thumbnail generator. The thumbnail generator has default nameplate, default background, and the generator, and then the image pack has portraits, uh, the Brawl Smash 4, um, Melee, and Project M logos, like this, and like this, and it also has the logo for the program, and a file called default.stn. Um, gonna go into this a little bit later but for right now I'm just gonna open the generator first off you can see that it has its own icon now um, compared to the just default click team fusion um, icon so you can see a lot of differences already and I'm going to open up a screenshot of the first version uh, so you can see all the differences and I can point them out um, so, so that you can see it better, I'm going to go ahead and open uh, a copy of this that I made. It's interesting. Oh, forgot the R's. Okay. And so that's the first thing, is that I've reordered these so that um, this one's here, and then it's two, three, four, five. I think that's four or five, right? Yeah. Um, just because it was kind of uh, annoying to think that two would be here and then three and then it would end up here and then you have to like move things around. So I re went ahead and reordered them and they're reordered for both sides. So if I go like that, it's on the same level. Um, the second thing is that the export button, which is normally or was normally right here. Uh, I moved it into the file menu. It's export right there. You can also do control E and it'll export. So if I went ahead and control E, it'll export that right there. And then the thing that you probably noticed was when I went and opened it up, uh, that's what the STN files are. STN stands for um, Smash Thumbnail. And you can go ahead and save your thumbnails as, and it'll set the default name, but I can just set it to uh, save test.stn and it'll save it there. And then if I go ahead and say new, I can control O and open, uh, save test, and it'll open like that. Next thing that you'll notice is that the name settings were normally here and here. I've moved them into a new tag uh, the tabs, there weren't any tabs before. Now there are three tabs for characters, backgrounds and names, and the custom images. Um, so I'm going to go to the background and names. Uh, so first off, we have player one's name, player two's name. And in case you forget who's who, there's the names right there when you're seeing the characters. So these work just how they did before. How I can type in a uh, really cool guy and it'll change it just automatically. Uh, and I can type like beats wig and it'll change it automatically. Um, the rest of this is entirely new compared to the old version, so I'm gonna close this. And I have the font size, you can now change the font size to be up to 72. And it doesn't really like it if you do like that too big. And so I'm gonna go ahead, see if I, shrinking it doesn't do anything. Uh, I believe if you just refresh uh, an image, it'll get rid of them, that text. Uh, the 
Next thing is you can set the custom background image and nameplate to whatever you want. So say I wanted the background image to be this logo instead of the green, I can go ahead and change this to logo and it'll stretch that out, which doesn't really look all that great, but just a demonstration. Um, and you can do that and put any uh, background image you want there. So like, let's see, don't really have any good ones. I guess I'll just pick, uh, oh, I, I have an idea. I'll just go to um, my pictures and grab something here. Here's one. Uh, properties. And then I can go ahead, paste slash, and then it's called Moltres background. And it sets it just like that. Um, nameplate offsets. I can go ahead and offset the nameplates on the X and the Y axis. So I can do that. And then you can always just type in the values if you know them. Uh, you can also do it for this side. Like that. Um, you can choose if you want to flip the player 2 nameplate. Um, and you can do that because you can do things like this. And then you can offset the names themselves. So I could say negative 96. Mm, I think it's negative 130. Yeah. So I could have it like that instead of over there. I'm just going to set these back to normal. There we go. Um, of course, you can also offset them on the y axis too. Oh, I guess I haven't. I'll fix that in 1.3 then. Um, this is 1.2 right now, so in the next update I'll make it so that you can offset the Ys. Um, next, you can turn off and on italic, bold, underline, and strike out, or strike through. Um, you can change the color of the texts. Say if uh, you're using a really white background, you don't want white, you can use black. If you're using a really blue black back, the if you're using a really blue background, you can switch it to maybe a green or blue or turquoise or yeah, whatever you want. Um, and if the color's not there, you can custom color and of course just pick whatever color that you want. And lastly, we have custom images. Uh, the custom images is this is no longer just built in. This is a custom image. It's saved under default image one. Um, Oops. If I go to desktop and then there, this is why I have these in here so that you can implement these instead of the Smash 4 logo. And then you can resize them to be smaller if you wanted to. Uh, you can move it around. So, like, maybe I wanted it down here. I'm planning on adding. Uh, two more custom images that you'll be able to like two more slots for custom images so like if I wanted to I could throw the brawl logo down there or I could throw in the project M logo or I could throw in the melee logo melee is a bit small for that like that uh, I could throw in just the editors logo bring it up a little bit um, and then you can rotate them as far as you want and it will wrap back around to zero once you hit 360. So I could go and get the budget demo logo again, have it as slant, and then raise it up a little bit like that. Just if you wanted that, maybe you wanted um, 28 and then 128. Maybe you wanted it in the corner. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show off how, um, 
this all works now and of course you can save save that and then if you were to go ahead and control N and get a new one or just close it and open it again you can always go ahead open the one that you saved and it'll all be there the way that you had it before obviously there's a few problems I just finished this um, so there are a couple of problems that I've now noticed recording this which are this image doesn't save and it doesn't save the rotation so I just have to add those and I'll probably put out a 1.2.1 by the time this video is uploaded you'll be able to find the download links to this zip and this zip both in the description of the video um, and I guess that's everything thanks for watching